do, do, do. We are live. Hey, good morning. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I hope you're doing well. It is 7.05, and it's a Monday. So it's a Monday. Give us a break. <laughs> it's not as early as it normally would be. This is our 307th episode, and I can hear the trash trucks actually finally make it through the neighborhood. Um, even though they're supposed to be here Friday and Saturday, I guess Sunday, they're catching up, though. They're only, they're only one day behind. One work, work week day behind. Anyway, I am Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And here we're here to talk about Scrum and Agile and not necessarily the trash. But we did talk about the other day how telling everybody that, you you know, you're going to be one day behind every sprint just gets them all pissed off, right? Um, sooner or later, customers don't like it. So you should do it. You should tell them what the reality is and do it that way. Anyway, we're, when we talk about Scrum and Agile, Will you do it in such uh, so that you can bring value to your customer, get home to your family or friends, work in reasonable hours, and have some fun along the way? And today I got a couple topics. Um, one, hey, it's you know I'm an engineer by trade. I got that engineer is not spelled right, but, you know, um, on my other T-shirt. But uh, there's a you know space race going on this week. As I posted up earlier, I was like this month. The end of July, August, everybody's going to be shooting rockets off to go to Mars because it's the perfect time to do it. And um, there's a Mars launch on, I think NASA just put out for um, July 30th, which is only a couple of days, only three days from now. And then the guys that are up at the space station are supposed to come back, I think on the 3rd of August or the 5th of August, like something like that. But, but you can go on YouTube and you can find all this stuff out and it's pretty cool. It's amazing to be living in this time. It's been a long time since we've had all this rocketry going up there into space and it's been live and telegraphed. I think that's because the commercial industry is in there and they're like, we're going to build some social media feed. I don't know about you, but I'll watch it all day long. So it's, it's an now popular thing. Um, so my two topics today. So why daily scrum? question I get asked all the time um, and it'd be interesting to talk about what answers people so I when people say they have troubles people come to daily scrum I always ask them so why should they go to daily scrum right that's what I ask my scrum masters and it's a good coaching question and then why should they come to daily scrum and then I go through what they tell me and I find it interesting the responses I get. And I get it from a lot of different people, the reasons why to go to Dallas Grumman. We're going to talk about that a little bit. And then we're going to talk about a little uh, networking exercise. I went to a event in Memphis online. We went to an event. I was online in Zoom, and we did this. It was, actually, it was a great little networking exercise, so I figured I'd share that with you. So we have our two topics for today. Um, so... Let's talk about daily scrum first, and then we'll do the, the networking exercise at the end. So why daily scrum, right? So, 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 so I get this answer from coaches, which always drive me crazy. It's like, really? Um, I get it from managers, scrum masters, pretty much everywhere. So, so why do you need to go to daily scrum? Well, it's company policy. It's required for Scrum. So I can get my updates. So people update the board and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, by the way, every one of those things I've heard from Scrum Masters, users, people who are Agile coaches, managers are supposed to be transformation managers. I have heard from everyone. So again, they go, because it's company policy, it's required by Scrum. So I can get updates. So people update the board. Okay, so those are the, the reasons why people say you should attend Daily Scrum or why people should attend Daily Scrum. If those are your reasons, you need to rethink about why your reasons for Daily Scrum. Okay, I'm going to tell you that. So let me, let me ask you a question. Do any of those reasons motivate you to actually attend Daily Scrum? I mean, seriously, if those are your reasons, would does, it, does that make you motivated to actually attend Daily Scrum? Now, remember, the question is, why aren't people going to Daily Scrum? 
if those are the reasons why to attend daily scrum, then you're not a very good scrum master, right? That's not why you go to daily scrum. That is, you're going to lose the battle. Now I got my second, my little book. Um, so let me ask you a question. How is that any different than filling out a timesheet? How many of us love to fill out timesheets? <laughs> don't do you? No, you don't. So, so all those reasons above, pretty much the same as it is this, so a lot of timesheets. But uh, but wouldn't anyone, you know, if you had to do a timesheet, wouldn't you love to get rid of the timesheet? So if those answers above are your reasons why your team should go to daily scrum, then you're no better than a timesheet. I'm just being real with you guys, right? If you're a scrum master and your topics up top are the reason why people should go to daily scrum, then you're no better than filling out a timesheet every week. Just saying. So think about it. I'm not going to tell you what the answers are or what how to think, but I want you to think about these questions. I would love to see comments from people on that topic. All right. So now the second topic. Boy, this is going fast. I thought it would take a lot longer to have that conversation. Well, we're at six minute mark. So you see, this is a good question. What What is your answer? Is that one of those? Okay. So now we'll talk about the Zoom meeting. So finding new ways to organize and get things done. I thought this was a great icebreaker activity for a virtual meeting. I wish I kind of wish we could do it more in a, in a, a um, physical meeting too. You can you can facilitate this to happen in a physical meeting, but in in Zoom it works really easy. And here's what it is: so you got a meeting, you got a group of people, and you want to have them introduced. And maybe some met each other, some have not. So you randomly you you pair up people in twos, and in Zoom you can pair up. Um, meeting rooms and you can pair them up by twos. You can say two people per room and it will randomly pick two people and put them in there. Hopefully it won't do the same two people, but that's what it will do. And um, you, what you do is you, you prime the discussion between the two people with a question, but you got to ask a relevant question. I was like, like, what is your toughest thing in agile? Um, what, question do you hear the most and i don't know come up with a question so you you prime a question to the group and you say what is your most difficult thing about agile you share that with the group then you send them off i'm thinking you do it a minute a person i think we did two it depends one minute to get the question another minute so maybe if you do two minutes it would work uh, where you can get to know them a little bit and have a little discussion. So you send the two people off. They talk about the question because that feeds the topic of conversation and it works well with people who are shy because they give them a topic to gravitate to versus having to introduce themselves and get going. Um, they talk about it and then you bring them back. Then you do it again, but with a different question. Right. So the next time, just in case you do get the same person, at least it's a different question. So maybe the next time you say, what's your favorite ceremony? Right. Oh, we have a We're going to talk about this. I had a debate. Someone wrote something about it's event. It's not a ceremony. It used to be ceremony. Now it's an event. I like the term event much better. So let's say, what's your favorite scrum event? And I want to try to use that more. Maybe we should, I'll write that in my book, why I want, I want to talk about that. What's well, having an event? What's your favorite event? So you go back, you talk about it for one or two minutes, and then after that, you bring them back, and then you do it again. And you could do it between two and five times. I think five times is kind of maxing out how many times you go back and forth. Three is probably a good number, so that way you get to meet three people. The goal is not to meet everybody in the session. It, the goal is just to meet a couple people and have a little conversation, one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody else. It's a great icebreaker. It's a great way of using the internet and have one-on-one -on -one conversations with somebody else for a little bit. And then you do it like two or three times, get a couple of people just to warm them up in the conversation mode and to give them some thought-provoking questions with some people besides yourself. So in this little COVID thing, I thought that was a great interaction tool. And then um, how could you do that in public? 
whenever we get to the point where we're actually meeting in person, I don't know when in the States we're going to be doing that, but you could feed a question. Um, you know, you can find, um, you can give everybody maybe a number, like a one, two, three, four, five. And then you can say, okay, twos, find a three. I don't know. And kind of force the, the different people to talk to different people. But that would be an idea. So those are the two topics. So one is your daily scrum like filling out a time card? Because if it is, you need to change your daily scrum. And two, how to go meet some people during a Zoom conference or a um, social media gathering. And I like that idea of spending a minute or two with a Fed question so that they don't have to come up with it. It's an icebreaker question. I think the dynamics, it was a great little session we did with the Memphis meetup group, and it was fun. So those are my two things for a Monday. Sorry we're a little later than normal. Cleaned up stuff, got some stuff done, did some stuff in the morning, took care of the kids, made some coffee, wife's doing her thing. And um, but now we're off. It's a Monday. Have a great day. If you already had your Monday done, good for you. You survived. And I wish all you well and happy scrumming. With that, take care and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Don't forget to watch the Rockets. <laughs>